Now you're listening to Box Talk 1390. Hello, who are you going for in the big fight? Look here, champ. I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm putting my money on Collier all the way. Yeah, As a you know, fact, I, you I know think Collier is he's a bigger man, oh, better oh, fighter. Oh, he's more I agile. I, I, I think he's going to take him in six. Collier? No, no, hold on. You don't if you want to. Okay, when you get in the ring with Collier, he will punish you. Let's not talk about the uppercut. Vicious. That's who I'm putting my money on. A single punch travels at the velocity of up to 32 miles per hour. At that rate of speed, there is no way to tell the damage that is inflicted on your opponent. In the sport of boxing, it's about give and take. The ultimate preference is to give and not to take. It's virtually impossible to determine how many punches one can administer or receive to proclaim victory. These are the sacrifices true warriors of the fight game are willing to accept. One has knocked out opponents in three different weight classes. The other, possessed with Hollywood good looks, seems to be more fitted for the big screen and not a square ring. Two of the best fighters in the world are primed and ready to test each other's ability to give and take. This is Boxing 365, Collier, Holly. Every boxer has a team, or a crew. Jackson's crew consists of his biggest fan, his little brother, TC. We about to hit the road right now, going city to city, you know what I'm saying? We got the album dropping, we got a single dropping right now, black until further notice, hottest things in the street right now, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I was the one with the quick hands in the fam, you know what I'm saying? My brother was more on the books and stuff like that. That ain't me. Cedric Keith, also known as Gopher, handles his security. I'm more like the hey, peacekeeper. Hey, it's your boy TC. Go ahead, peep my new oh, hey. Because physical violence is usually not the appropriate response. Jackson and TC were always in the middle of stuff, especially if they lost their parents. As a freshman in college, Jackson received the worst news possible. A tragic car accident claimed the lives of his parents. At the age of 18, Jackson was thrust into the responsibility of parenting his younger siblings. Another member of that crew is Peyton Waiters, Jackson's childhood friend and manager. Well, we all went to Cal State Northridge with Jackson. Jackson and I both graduated at the same time, and I got my degree in business finance. I'm almost done. Oh! Make sure you guys pick up my brother's debut album, okay? It's called Black Until Further Notice. It's gonna be real hot. When's it dropping? This summer, right? Yeah, it's gonna be nationwide, available everywhere from Lights Out Records. The undefeated middleweight champion of the world, Spencer Timber Collier, honed his craft as an occupant in various youth authority camps during his teenage years. Now he's the man, and is considered the most vicious fighter in the game. His manager, the very colorful Anquan Prince. I mean, I managed that boy for years, so I know what's in his heart. Jello! <laughs> they had the book in this town that gives that college boy a chance. Now, Spencer Timber Collier is a hardened street thug. He's been dropping Negroes in these streets since Holly was playing bad men no spray break in Miami. I mean, this was foolish to take this fight, man. That's all right. You like to learn, college boy? Well, good, because you going to learn today. Anquan Prince, Jackson Holly's former manager, obviously has an axe to grind with the Holly camp. After a nasty breakup in 2014 with the resourceful Prince, it appears to be a bit of lingering animosity between the two men. In four weeks, we will find out if the challenger, Jackson Holly, can take this belt from around the waist of this man. The middleweight champion of the world, Spencer Timber Collier. This is Boxing 365. Now, I ain't the greatest of all time. That's Muhammad Ali. Remember that, too. Don't let nobody tell you different. You see me? Uh, Chan, yeah, I'm the greatest hey, at this hey, time. Hey, Over here, Chan. Last Jackson, fight. Jackson, in your last fight, you had a very hard time disposing of Hector Rios. Please, Monica, let's get serious. He had you in trouble in the fifth round. Yeah, I knocked him out six. Talking about trouble. <laughs> Last time I was in trouble with the fifth grade. 
Ain't that right, ladies? <laughs> That's enough. No more questions. What? What's up? What's up? What's up? What? This isn't the image I'm trying to portray, man. You know that. All right? I hate bragging on myself. I hate it. I don't want to do it. You're not bragging. You branding yourself. It's a difference. I'm not branding myself. All this self-aggrandizing's got me coming off extremely arrogant, man. You know what got you coming off extremely confident? Well, this ain't the image I'm trying to portray. Maybe talk to him about it. Jax, we got to sell tickets. Look, this endorsement has brought you money. Do you think Sizzle would have hired you and endorsed a product if you was born, huh? Whether I'm hitting the club late or whether I'm hitting the bag or whether I'm just hitting it. Sizzle, the 12-hour energy drink. I get your point. Money, money, money. And explain this to me again. Why are we not training in Vegas? Look, for the last time, I don't need you in that atmosphere of the Vegas side show. I need you at the West Palms, okay? It's the same Vegas feel, but I need to keep you focused. I want to be in Vegas. Trust me on this, Jax. Trust me. All right? That's all you got to do is trust me. Hey, um, who is this chick over here with the, with the camera? I'm not sure who that is. I thought you were supposed to know everybody that comes through the gym. She's a freelancer or something, I guess. What's her name? Look, I don't know that right now. OK, let's focus on getting this belt right now. Man, if I get this belt. <laughs> what are you talking about? People what? can't hear you. I'm not worried about who's listening to me, bro. Don't you talk like that? Listen, Collier is no picnic, and you ain't the one going in there to fight him. <laughs> look, look, you are way bigger and stronger than this guy. You hear me? Bill, he's knocking people out twice his size, OK? You know he's on that stuff. You know that. How else are you going to jump up three weight classes, beat every champion? Call me some slack, man. Look, just focus, boy. Focus, man. <laughs> Get a good one? What's up? Toei totally taking me back to court. I thought you caught up. Almost. Bro, this whole serving you after every fight thing is getting really old. Look, we need to slow the pipeline down on this album. I'm not doing that. Why? Because uh, he's my brother. That's why. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you need to learn to separate family and business. OK, I can't even tell that he got minimal skills on the mic. And his whole presentation is all wrong. You're a hater. We got to sign other people to the label. We can't just keep putting all your eggs in your little brother's basket. It's my money. Good point. Go for it. Please. I'm just trying to help you not throw your money away. <laughs> I know this fool ain't talking about throwing my money away. You know there's a reason why you don't handle my finances anymore. Like, you, you grasp that, right, Peyton? I still attend the meetings, all right? You can be fighting Anquan Prince right now. And he'd be in both your pockets. So you mean to tell me you haven't gambled at all? No, not at all. Ask Gopher. You just told me to chill. You know what? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. They yelling out my neck. We been back in this game. I'm coming back, they been old ass, you better stay in your lane You can't do it like us, your girl say she in love She showing off bad, and she so bad, she almost so hot to touch Ha, live a fast life, driving fast cars Wearing white nights, and we black stars I'm a bad, and got a bad chick And we getting paper, and getting to you know what it is Chasing money, and we Can you hear that? Fire, bro. That's your little brother trying to sound like Lil Wayne. He has no identity, he steals everybody's style. And what hardcore rapper needs choreography? Come on, man, he's trying something different. Leave him alone. Go for it. what you think? I like it. But do something like Lil Wayne a little bit. The next welterweight champion of the world. Hey, <laughs> how's the baby? Mm, I'm good. <laughs> you? Calm down. <laughs> 
Okay. I'll call you back. Why? No. No. Come here. Come here. Let me talk to you. What, Jackson? What? I mean, what the hell are you doing? What are you talking about? Fee? Oh, God, Jackson, we're just friends. Friends? You hug all your friends like that? And do you wear clothes that actually fit you nowadays? You know what? Hmm. You two are always overreacting over every little thing that I do. Can you stop I'm it? I'm not overreacting. Yes, you are. Uh, what I'm not, Salida, is feeling this image you're portraying. Mm, okay, Jackson, what image is that, hmm? Huh? This, this, uh, this? Wow. Go close yourself. So now you're telling me how to dress. That's what we're doing? Now Jackson's telling me how to dress, okay. Selita, this is not who you are. Mm. So now what I wear defines who I am? Well, huh? actually it can, yeah. You are being ridiculous. No. You're being ridiculous. You're being thirsty. Thirsty. Yes. Wow, now I'm being thirsty. You're being thirsty, wow. yes. This man's not loyal. He didn't slept with everything that breathes. You know what, actually, Jackson, that's not true, okay? I know this man. You understand? You don't want to go down this type of road. If mom and dad were alive... You know what, Jackson? Can you stop running the if mom and dad were alive guilt trip, okay? Stop it. Well, then you need to stop it, Salida. Going. Nah, get up. Good. Get up. Come on. Get back here. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. You want me to pick you up? You're 100 pounds. Get up. Move. Move. Jackson. Move. You want to keep this job? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, there he is. Yeah. So let me get this straight. You just you just sit back there in that booth and you watch your little sister parade around like this. That's what you do? Jax, it's hard to see in here with the glare. You know, look, oh. nothing is going on, Jackson. Yo, come on, Jackson. I'm not even interested in your little sister, man. Look, I'm over here trying to make magic. Like, I'm focused, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm focused. You see? Vicious uppercut and that lethal right, right man, hook. Right, Last time you were standing like you was cashing a check. You got to look out for the punches. That's he got to watch for them. Damn, man, ain't got no punches coming, bro. Here to party. You here to do a job, all right? In the first order of action, let's go get Jackson away from Cormier Santiago. <laughs> Man, I am not doing that. He's in lust with that girl. Yeah, she in lust with everybody. Look, go get him right now, go for come on. Oh, yo, yo, look. My brother's a grown ass man, all right? He can handle himself. Just let him do his thing. Man. Okay, y'all go ahead and keep looking at that ass. That ass gonna have you looking dumb real quick. Look at it. Five NBA players. Four NFL players, two hockey, one jockey, and they all filed for Chapter 11. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Go get him right now. Go for him. right now. Okay? That's all I'm saying, man. Set up, and I've been here. They know that since day. You good, man? Good? <laughs> so you're not seeing anybody, huh? I've been trying to see you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, I heard a lot about you. Oh, please. Do not believe all that crap that's printed and said mm. about me. I'm so sick and tired of being categorized. This is something I'm not. <laughs> OK. Seriously, mm. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah, you're my favorite wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I box, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in Vegas training or something? Uh, nah, nah. My manager got us training out here for some reason. But I had to get up out of that gym, you know? Break up the monotony of the whole day, you know? <laughs> 12 hour days that drive you stir crazy. Mm. Mm. You are so damn sexy. <laughs> Tell me that a little bit later. We going somewhere after this. Oh, see? Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jackson, can I talk to you for a second? Hey, hey, hey. Let me holler at you for a minute. How <sighs> y'all doing? Man, I hope you're not doing that. Doing what? Carmen Santiago. I'm just having a little fun with her, bro. I ain't going to wife her. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just making sure, all right? I don't want you caught up. All right, relax, man. I know what I'm doing, all right? May I help you? Hi, I just wanted to say I've seen you on TV a lot. Uh. <laughs> You're actually cuter in person. Uh. I just wanted to introduce myself to you. <laughs> and to your business. <laughs> Get on, boy. Ah. I'm Latanya. And I'm Peyton. I know who you are. Would you like to dance? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to serve you. not a relationship because you made that very clear. All right. Cool. Cool. Epic, Daniel. Mm-hmm. Do you, Ma? Oh, I will. Do you. Bye. Serious, go for it. When you ain't leaving, so they play my record. When they playing it, pay? I don't know. Ask Feet, he hooked it up. I'm not feeling good about this, man. Yeah, me neither. Hey, let's go, Jackson. Everybody pack up, let's go. No, 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 no. We can't do that. That's a bitch move. No, we ain't doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the royalty of boxing. Royalty of boxing. The Prince of Prize Fighters. Prince of Prize Fighters. The creator of champions. Creator of champions. And the new manager of Spencer Timber Collier. The champ is here. Timber. 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 Oh, Jacqueline. Jackie, 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 Jackie. We know you're in here. Where you at, girl? We can smell your perfume. <laughs> we just want to let you know the champ is here, too. And he wanted me to inform you that there's a couple of gentlemen who would love to have a slow dance with you. They want to dance with you, Jackie. Let me see that real quick. Where's my lady at? What, what, what lady may that be? Oh, I'm looking for a little red bone joint with a glass joint. With a glass joint? Oh, Sounds yeah. pretty. Yeah, I, That's who I'm looking at. Yeah. Where you at, baby? I know she in here, but I don't see her. Jax, it's time to go. Oh, we ain't leaving till they play my record. Nah, let the little Negro bloviate. Bloviate? 
What does Blovier mean? Talk at length, you basically say nothing. I don't like him. Oh, you're so smart, baby. Big words. That's right. We can't leave. The party's just getting started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at Adrian's album. Where? May 7th. Okay. I'm about to make this little... Jacqueline, is it? Jack, 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 Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Jack, Jack. About to make Jacqueline my side chick. <laughs> now, 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 side chick. I'm gonna get the microphone. <clears throat> no, you not. Yeah, I am. Yes, he is. That's right. You should say something. I'll support you, baby. Carmen, will you go away? Who do you think you're talking to? I don't know. What? Maybe a thought? A what? Did you say a thought? You don't know me. Girl, everybody knows you. Mind your business. Jackson is my business. Look, come on. You can't let him punk you out like that. You gotta do something. Please, just ignore him, man. What is your problem? Nah, let me handle this. Jackson. Let me handle this. Move. Jackson, get back here, man. Jackson. Oh, oh look at that. Woman of the year coming down. Oh, there it is. Jackson, 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 Jackson. Oh. Jackson, 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 Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Oh, look. Hey, there he is. Sherbert Hey, top. ladies. Now, everyone. I got something to say to college boy. Well, yeah. hold on, hold on now. Before you say anything, short guy, understand something. All the name calling and the tough guy routine. See, it doesn't really mean anything when you're standing behind Mr. Bucket Hat with the bullhorn. So as a grown man, I essentially wanted to be respectful and politely come down here and tell you to your face to shut your punk ass up. Oh, Watch your mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just because you have a beard don't make you tough. Mm -hmm. OK? All right? So I'll guess I'll be quiet. That's good, that's good. You taught him a few tricks. Now, on May 7th, I'm going to let my fist do all the talking. How about that? Yeah, that's how we fight. I'm going to put you out of business, Peyton. You don't get your ass out of my face. Look here, man. Um, look, do you have any idea who you facing, fake Drake? Do you have any idea who you facing, hotline bling face? <laughs> I mean, Peyton, you, you might as well be working for me, baby. And your point? Because you got this cupcake to take the fight. Stupid move, man. <laughs> Stupid move. Hashtag agreed. You gonna learn today. Mm. <laughs> well, check this out, Stavon. On May 7th, all questions will be answered. Yeah, you can smell all that. The only question that will not be answered is should functional illiterates be allowed to manage and promote their fighters. Okay. Let me tell you something, homeboy. That's a champ right there. Okay. You see this, right? You see this, right? Let me tell you something right now. Everybody knows up in here that I'm built like a god. G O D. So steroids do work. Don't let him do that. Don't let him do that. There you go. Holly's chin has never been in question until onlookers captured this piece of video. <laughs> Down goes Jacqueline! Down goes Jacqueline! He gonna learn today! He gonna learn hey, today! Hey, 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 chill. That's wow. my catchphrase, don't do that. No, actually, that's Kevin Hart's catchphrase. No, listen, this is how you say it. You go learn today! That's how you do it. It's not your catchphrase. You got the rhythm wrong. That was the punch that was heard around the world. In most casinos, Holly goes from a 9 to 1 underdog to a 25 to 1 underdog. I'll be handling the champ's day to day operations. Jackson's manager, Peyton Waiters, says you embezzled hundreds of thousands of dollars from Mr. Holly. Oh, no, that ain't never been true. They just disgruntled because I dropped Jackson, that's all. But you were sued. For which I was found innocent. Wasn't it an out of court settlement? <laughs> Man. I am now the manager of Pound for Pound, the best fighter on the planet. Let's talk about that. Hey. Hey. So I heard you're a writer. Actually, a photographer. Ah. So you sell your work. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. To the highest bidder. But right now I'm on assignment with TrueBoxing.net. Oh. You from here? No, I'm from Atlanta. Ah. Uh, nice. 
Um, I saw the club brawl on Boxing 365. You okay? That's a lucky punch. Okay. Well, what do I have to do to get a private photo session? Well, you have to go to dinner with me. Okay, that sounds good as long as it's just a business date. Ah, uh, well, I don't see no ring on your finger. What, you got a man? No. You got a woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you did, it wouldn't be a big deal. Okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't you take my number down? Okay. We'll go on this business dinner. Jackson! 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 Uh, two, six, seven. Where is that guy? 250. Carmen Santiago's here. Hello. Ah, I see. They get it. You text me. I'll call you. Okay, cool. Okay. Pose, mama. That's definitely her. That's definitely her. You and Carmen. Nah, we're just hanging out a little bit, so. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Trust me. Jackson! Over here calling my name. I like the no. way you say my name. I thought you were hiding from me. Well, I ain't never hiding from you. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Why didn't you tell me you're having a party Saturday night? What type of party? What do you mean? Your manager, Peyton, said that you were having a party. He said that? Mm-hmm. Don't play with me, Jackson. Take your time, baby. One, one. Two, two. There we go. There you go. Hold on. What up? What's up, Jax? What's up, baby? Hey, give me five minutes on the speed bag, all right? Take your time, baby. Come on. So what's this about a party at my place I'm hearing about? Look, I just had Ginsburg remove 20 grand out the margin account for Yo, the party. Don't call my accountant and make any moves without my approval, okay? I'll talk to Ginsburg about that, but don't do that for me, please. All right, but we need to calm everybody down, including the bookies. What are you talking about? Look, just trust me on this, Jax. Trust me. No, I hate people knowing where I live. You know that. And calm people down about what? Talk to me. What are you saying? Ever since you got knocked out at that club, the betting lines unchanged drastically. Okay? Every hopper motor thinks that you're such a big underdog, it's gonna kill the box office. That's why you need to have this party. Let them know it's not sweating you. A few juicy sound bites. Back in business. On my house. It's your natural habitat. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Don't forget, you got an IBS commercial tomorrow. Is that a new network? No, IBS stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Yo, I told you I'm not doing that. It's a hundred K. I don't care if it's a hundred million. I'm not doing that. Cancel it. It's a hundred K, I'm Jack. not doing it. Yo, man, I told you. I went the back so hard. Don't forget everybody out the gym now. What? Everybody out. Clear up, clear. Let's go. Oh, it's right there. Ah. X-rays are inconclusive. The doctor said we should push the fight. Ah. No. The it's doctor right thinks you have a hairline fracture. There's no way you can get into this fight and fight this dude with one hand. Well, I just need some treatment. That's all. You've been favoring that hand since the fight at the club. Damn it! Look, we gotta push out, Jax. Mm -mm. We gotta push. Mm -mm. Bro, you know how stupid I would look if we pulled out right now? Huh? No way. Pushing this fight's not an option, man. What are you talking about? You have one hand. Look, man, they're calling me soft. I, I can't do that, so. Because they calling you soft? The money will still be here if we push. Uh, and that's your problem, that's your problem. You think I'm fighting for money? Fights of this magnitude come with quite a few distractions, like the press. The one question consistently asked of Jackson Holly is why does a college-educated millionaire partake in such a brutal sport? In essence, why fight? Well, maybe it's because my whole life, people told me I couldn't. 
You know, I was always too smart, I was educated, too soft, you know. Soft, educated, nerdy kids can't fight. You know? So naturally, I was a target. I'm not what people expect me to be. So I'm fighting for all the people that tell me I don't fit the mold of a stereotypical boxer. I'm fighting for all the Greg Smiths, the Delonte Joneses, all the people that used to beat me up and torment me every single day in middle school. I'm fighting for people that don't want to be packaged inside of a little box. That's what I'm fighting for. You know, this has never been about money for me, ever. Which is what most people think it's about. This is Boxing 365. That's great, let's cut. Yeah. How you doing, Wait up. Not a word about this injury to anybody. I got you. You understand? I got you. You got a minute? Hmm. You okay? Yeah, fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I like that. You like what? What you said about why you fight. Oh. Well, thank you. Look, like I gotta get out of here. Let me get a hug. Just kidding. Okay, because <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna do with that? Okay. What you gonna do with that? You gonna hug me? What about now? Hmm? What about a fist bump? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> You want to get a smoothie? Sure. Why not? All right, give me 10 minutes. Okay. Want to hit the showers? You're not doing well, are you? What you talking about? Be honest with me. I better yet, be honest with yourself for once. I'm good, Jax. No, you're not. You know I know every pit boss in the Pacific Palms, right? All right, I was at the casino. No big deal. I didn't gamble. All right, I played a couple of hands of blackjack. Mm. But that was it. I swear I got it all under control. I'm not like how I used to be. Hey. Look, man, the means is really helping me. I'm just trying to catch up on bills, OK? Oh, my attorney 5K. I got served at the club and old toy and back support. Man, why can't you just come to me for help? I always help you, man. Because I can't. Besides, you helped me out last time. Listen to me. I'm helping you whether you want it or not. You hear me? Are you not? Yeah, I am. But man, this is my responsibility. And I'm going to make sure I have it. I got you covered, brother. You hear me? Never, man. I don't know if you, I don't know if you know what you're doing to me. You're so cool. I don't know if you knew, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to make my move. But I don't want to look like a fool, yeah I don't know if you see, if you care Are you aware what you do? Are you aware what you, are you aware what you do? Did you know when you smile That you light up the moon? Got the whole city looking Are you aware what you do? Just looking like your birthday soon Got you looking like a fool Are you aware, are you aware what you, are you aware what you do? Is it his right hand or what? Yes, sir. Which means this will probably be one of your easier fights. Easy the pain. Can you not do that all the goddamn time? No. It's a norm. It's supposed to be. Hey, he got three inches on me. So what? Need to... You beating bigger men? Come on, just do what you normally do. Yeah, whatever, man. Come on, slip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Huh? Hey, I know what you're saying. And what I'm saying is that you better be focused on being my manager. Focus on managing. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, FYI, something big is about to go down. What? Just wait. You'll see. Focus. Focus. I ain't playing with you. He's not playing with you. Shut up, Stavon. Hey, ladies. 
You must keep your blindfolds on until instructed to take them off. If you remove them prematurely, your vehicle will return you immediately back to this hotel. This is absolutely humiliating. If my man knew you were subjecting me to this, he would be furious. Exactly. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, exactly who's your man? Stop playing. Well, if you was his woman, you shouldn't be riding in this van. And for that matter, you should know where he lives. Uh, now I'm being disrespected? Everyone wears a blind foe. No exceptions. I'm not doing that. Well, then you're not going. I'm calling Jackson right now. Hey, he's still on the line right here. You can talk to him all you want. Are you crazy? This is some bull. What do you mean I need to make a decision? <laughs> you know what? This could have been your lucky night. Are you going? Hell no, y'all go. Yeah. My bad. Look, the latest projection got you split in 75 mil. Yeah. 75 mil. I don't know why he trips on people knowing where he lives. Well, I'm on the way to time. I can't believe you had all them honeys in block for nah, Come on, man. Better safe than sorry, brother. Well, that's crazy. Half of all these vampires are. So you're just gonna ignore me all day? Come on, I gotta entertain everybody here. Okay? Not everything's about you. Get a drink, put a smile on your face, be happy. Can you see this halo shining on me? Right, take the halo over there, buddy boy. I got what you like. Sigue jugando conmigo para que tú veas. Yeah. Let's go. They yelling out my name. We been back in this thing. I'm coming back. They been old ass. You better stay in your lane. You can't do it like us. Your girl say she in love. She showing no bad. She so bad. She almost hot to touch. Ha. Living fast life. Driving fast cars. Wearing white nights. And we black stars, I'm a bad and got a bad chick And we getting paper and then you know what it is Chasing money and we tipping lean Weight on my shoulders, press the triple beans We got big dreams Exactly what we need right there. Man, right under our noses. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, why was everybody so turned up out here? Man, you didn't see Fee? I was in the house. Oh my God, he grabbed the mic and the whole crowd went nuts. Really? Yeah. Jax, we have to do something with him, man. No, no, hold down. Okay, we can't get excited just because he performed on the hook. Right. He was nice like that. Yeah. I'm mad I missed him. You ain't missed nothing. <laughs> got the whole thing right here. Look at that. And the audio people recorded everything. Look at that. Ah, yeah. Let me look at this. Let me look at this for a minute. Yeah? Yeah, go in. Hey, Fee. Let me holler at you for a minute, man. Uh, what? Yo, what up? You good? Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Look, no disrespect, all right? I know you can do that. <laughs> yeah, man. You know I flow a little bit. Mm, you got some more stuff I can hear? Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. You should come through the studio. I got a whole bunch of tracks. That's what's up, man. 
Look, I'm gonna give you a call, all right? All right. What's up, man? Make sure you pick up your phone, all right? All right no doubt, man. All right, boy. Fifi. It's money in the bank. Money in the bank. Jackson, dance with me. Come on, you know you want this. Stop. Stop it. What is your problem? Listen, you really do the most, don't you? I know who you are. I know what you are. And who and what am I? Listen, I do not need to explain that to you. I think you're forgetting that this ass is a privilege. I can have anybody in this place. Well, calm down and be my guest if that's what you want. <laughs> Come on. I only want you. Listen, you're drunk and you don't know what you want, okay? Relax. Listen, you're making me look bad. Kiss me. Oh, well. Stop. Get up. Hey, Gopher. Gopher. Come here. Relax, okay? Relax. She needs to go down the hill. She's a rat. Okay, put the blindfold She's on her, and I will see you all another right. time. Touch me. All right. Get out of me, get that. No, tu va ver, tu va ver. I think you're forgetting. You're so good in Santiago. Excuse me, dear. Do you mind? Is it? Thank you. Hi. Hi. Glad you made it. <laughs> Me too. Looks like your girl stripped out a little. Haha, uh -huh. it's not my girl. <laughs> not according to the blog. Well, you can't believe what a blog says nowadays. Especially the story's Carmen's plan. Well, you know we have that photo shoot after your workout on Monday. Uh, I can't wait. And when are we having that uh, business dinner? <laughs> That's your call. Monday night. Monday night. Ooh. I like that. Good. I kind of like you a little bit. <sighs> I guess I like you a little bit too. <laughs> Never do that again, man. What are you doing? Yo, yo, my bad, yo. I just put a couple extra bars in. I don't give a damn what it was. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. What you did was disrespectful, Fee. Oh, yo, how I disrespect you? You freestyled those lyrics. Them not the lyrics that go to that song. So I flipped it a little bit, so what? You trying to make the show about you? This ain't about you. Yo, come on, T, listen. I'm just trying to produce. Like, I'm not trying to steal your little show. <laughs> steal my little show. Bro, you are incapable of stealing my show, all right? All I'm telling you is just don't do it again. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Nah, we good. No, we're not good. One other thing. You need to make it straight with my little sister. You need to just get it right, whatever you got to do. And your sister know what's good. And I know I had to discuss it with you. <laughs> what you think, me and my brother stupid? All right, she already not ready for somebody like you, dude. I haven't even told her how you be smashing everything that walk in the studio. Yo, whatever, yo. I don't want her to get hurt again, man. Yo, how I'm gonna hurt her? She's a grown-ass woman. Right? I know you, Fee. So stop it, man. Hey, you know what time it is, right? I see you know what time it is, right? I gotta watch Jay right now. Stay still, okay? All right, everybody out there, listen, focus real quick. First, I'm gonna take away his body like... <laughs> Not his body chat. Woo! I'm gonna take away his spear with the right cross. Boom! Not his spirit chat. Oh yeah, then the left hook. Boom! Take away his hope. All his hope gone. And champ. after all that, <laughs> I'm gonna take away his girl. You Not his girl chat. Mm. Not his girl chat. Mm. That's how you shoot the shot chat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 Hey, take the picture real quick. You see the champ? You see him? Ah, take it there. Hey, show, show him the ass with it. Show him that. You see that assets? Assets. Ah, boy, you see that? Ah, what time is it? Hey. Champ time. You already know. Give me a minute, baby. Pernell, get your ass off. Come on. Get your ass off, Pernell. Get it right this time. Get it. 
Burn down! Burn down! The mix right, damn it! Dead. As if events leading up to the big fight on May 7th can't get any more scandalous, Lights Out Record Studios, which is owned by challenger Jackson Holly, was raided by the County Drug Enforcement Task Force. It is not known if any drugs were found, but it certainly is somewhat of a negative look for Mr. Holly. As the challenger deals with some pending legal issues, the champ allows us to meet his family. Let me show y'all. Welcome to my ladies. Uh, well, my BMs. <laughs> See them over there? These them two over there? Those are my twins. Yeah, they born on the same day, but I like to consider them twins anyway, even though they got two different baby mamas. You know what I'm talking about? This this Lexus. This Lexus right there. Look, it's so cute. And this is my big girl right here. Hey, Ciroc. You know what I'm talking about? And who kid is that? Is that one of mine? Zoom, zoom in real quick. See, I take what I want. You know what I'm saying? Are you listening, Jackson? Mm -hmm. Whatever I want, I take, even if it's yours. True, but I felt it was time to be with a man. Mm -hmm. A real man. Yeah, talk to him. Mm -hmm. See what you gave up? This is Boxing 365. Get that money, champ. Get that money, champ. Look at that. How's the boyfriend? There you go. There you go. You need to stop. I'm not signing any waivers. Hey, stay fine. You got that deer antler spray for me? No way, bro. They can detect that kind of stuff now. Okay, all right. They detected last fight, but give me some Anadrol. No, man. The fight's too close. You need to wean yourself off that kind of stuff. And, and plus, it makes you crazy. It don't make me crazy. I need to be stronger. He's bigger than me. You don't need Give me some Anadrol. You don't need all that stuff to beat Holly, man. You know, get my sister. Relax, I'm right here. You know what? Give me a sec. Hurry up! <sighs> What's up? I don't like your new friend. Who? Carmen. Man, forget about her. What about old boy Han? He injured it. Or rather, re-injured it. Okay, cool. Why is it anything else? No. I'm going to dinner with him tomorrow night. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, all right. So I'm going to need you to pump all the information out of him, okay? Spence, I think I've done enough. What, what do you mean you've done enough? I'm just not comfortable doing this. Besides, I need to focus. I'm on assignment. Oh, you know what? You are so ungrateful. You know you don't have no assignment with TrueBoxer.net unless I make some phone calls. Wow. I guess you forgot the concept of getting a job on one's own merit a long time ago. You know what? I'm not doing nothing for you no more. Get out! Leave! I don't need your help! Insiders say that Holly is nursing an injured right hand. It's not uncommon for fighters to fight with an injured hand. Wait, how did he know that? Yo, we must got a snitch around. There's our snitch. Someone told her. Hey, hey, check it out, bro. Your commercial. So don't finish before you get started. Take one good to grow 45 minutes prior to activity. You're guaranteed to give her three and a half hours of pure pleasure. Remember, making love can be hard. Just make sure you're hard when you're making love. <laughs> Yo. 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 I love this new joint by TC out of Cali on the six mix. Oh, turn it up, turn it up. It's on, it's on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was that? Yeah. Don't look at me. Who gave him that mix? I never heard that. Hey. That's what you were spitting at my brother's party. Yeah, but I ain't had nothing to do with that. Oh, you need to talk to me. Yo, people. listen to me, feet. If I find out you had something to do with this, I swear to God, I'm done. another marker. Sir, can you please step away from the table? 
For what? You've been cut off, sir. Look, just, just get another marker and a pen. I'll mm -hmm. sign it and give me another 10K, okay? That's impossible, sir. Could you please step away from the table? I've been cut off. Yes, sir. <laughs> you realize I rented out half this resort? Yes, sir, I do. You do? Yes, sir, I do realize mm -hmm. that. Well, act like it. Sir, I do realize that. But my boss said no more markers for you. So you mean to tell me that Carmen Santiago, one of the world's most beautiful and highly sought after women, didn't have sex with you? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Something tells me you're telling the truth. Well, you know, I'm not one of those dumb athletes. I know when someone's trying to get in my pockets. Mm. Let's, uh, change the topic. What do you want to talk about? You. What do you want to know? Everything. <laughs> okay, well, where do I start? Wherever you want. Well, I've always been fascinated by boxing. Mm. When I was a little girl, my dad used to huddle the family around. <laughs> You're a mess. I pay attention to detail. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Well, this is me. Ah, oh, this is you. Huh. Yeah. So you don't want me to come in? Oh, I'm absolutely sure. Okay. <laughs> Well, let me say, this has been the best time that I've had in a really long time. Me too. Oh, really? It wasn't just a bunch of shop talk, you know? I'm used to all the mumbo-jumbo, Jackson, blah, blah. You know? <laughs> it was great. Well, I mean, it wasn't supposed to be like a date or anything. I want to see you again. That would be nice. Yeah. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you later. See you. Uh, I'm glad you called my phone. You know you were seen in the casino last night. I wasn't gambling. You're not supposed to be anywhere near a casino, Peyton. I was just watching. Yeah, right. Why are you calling my phone? Two things. What? We have to talk about feet. I told that fool to stay away from my sister. Oh, no. It, it's something incredible. But I have bigger news. What now? Look, the boxing commission is going to make y'all do a drug test next week. Spencer is not going to pass. How do you know? Look, everybody know he's Roy, all right? I know a guy who knows a guy that's his Roy hookup. Well, hold on, hold on. If he doesn't pass, that means the fight's off. Then good. What do you mean, good? Look, he's been stepping up in weight classes and knocking people off that's twice his size. And you don't need to be fighting him if he has an unfair advantage. Besides, man, you got a broken hand. I don't have to beat him with brawn. I'll beat him with brains, OK? And my hand's not broken. Just come on, don't do this. I think I found my wife. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm being serious. Remember that, uh, that photographer? The Endera chick? Yeah, yeah, man. We went out last night. I had the best time of my life. <laughs> One date and you're ready for marriage? Three blows to the head, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we actually went out a few times, man. Peyton's gambling again. What? Look, I think I, uh, I want you to look in on him from time to time. Look in? You want me to follow him? I mean, if that's what it takes, yeah, we gotta help him out, you know? Which brings me to you. What about me? I'm just saying, you know, when things break out, it seems like you're missing an action, you know? What are you talking about, Jax? When a fight breaks out. Are you saying I'm not doing my job? What I'm saying is I need to be able to count on you. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I hate violence. 
I'm not cut out for this security job. I just don't believe physical confrontations resolve anything. I know why I'm here. Really? Well, tell me, why are you here? I'm here because you feel for some reason you're obligated to look out for me. You shouldn't have to feel like that. What's wrong with looking out for the people that help me get where I am in life? There's nothing wrong with that. But you'll be my boy with or without a paycheck. No. Look, I'll do better. Look, it's all good, man. We straight? We're good. Well, I'm here because the promoters asked me to be here. Look, the fight is two weeks away, and never in the history of boxing has a commissioner asked for a drug test. Never. Well, pee in the cup. The normal policy is 30 days. 30 days. What is this all about? Because you built like a Mack truck. I'm built like a god. Hey, Holly, control your hole, bro. Get your girl. Pursuant to section 17 in the boxing bylaws, the commission doesn't have a right to force a drug test unless viable and compelling evidence is presented. And after the arrest of the owner of the Anakin lab last week, the Boxing Commission has come to the conclusion that both fighters must submit to a test. You have one week from today to comply. Oh, hell no. We gonna file a grievance. Yes, we are. Why file a grievance if you have nothing to hide, no, no. clown? Well, those same bylaws also state that both fighters have a right not to comply if they so choose, because technically, this is outside of that 30-day window. Well, that would be correct. Okay, Jax, think about this. I'm 100% clean. Clean. I just don't trust the process. And everybody knows that Satin Boy Promotions want this fight to go away. Well, we have no problem peeing in the cup. The pee or not the pee, that is the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jax, think. Look, what if they rigged the test? We could be out $35 million a piece. Stupid. I don't trust that. We don't trust you. I don't give a damn who you trust. Hey, Quan, shut up. Think about this, Jax. 35 million. There's nothing to think about. Hold up, Spencer. Your fight last year with Ramirez, your pee was tested. You came back eight months pregnant. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. That ain't right. Uh, you might want to ask your mom if she know how to use those pregnancy tests. My mom. Right. 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 I appreciate everybody right. for coming out today. Be your stepdad. Step you understand me? Right. I'm going to see you guys on fight night. You ain't got to go nowhere. You better calm your short ass down. It's all good, Commissioner. It's all good, baby. to you. Mama, my ass, boy. You going to see me. You ain't going to leave in the middle of my conversation. What's up, old boy? We shouldn't have gotten all up in my face. Uh, can we please talk about something? Sure. Ooh, man. That looked bad. Why would you hit him with your bad hand? I just jumped in my face. I wasn't thinking. Hey, you think y'all can excuse us for a second? I really hate to ask you this, but uh, you think you can loan me a 10 stack? You wanna gamble with it? Nah, nah. Just trying to slow toy down on this, you know, this back support issue, child support stuff, man. You know. <laughs> I'll pay you back. You don't gotta pay me back. I'll tell Ginsburg to cut to a check. 10K all you need? Yeah, but you, you can't write the check in my name. No, I can't write the check in your name. And you know why. 
Nah, nah, I'm I'm good, man. Nah, I'm cool. That's, that's just way too embarrassing. I'm not dying. Nah, I'm cool. How is it embarrassing? I'm gonna have to check cut for you. How is that embarrassing? Like, man, I don't need Toy to think you have my child support. Nah, uh-uh. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't gonna do it. All right. All right. But promise me you're gonna give her the whole $10,000. Promise me. I promise. Hey. I promise. I'm good, Jax. I give it all to her, man. Ones, whatever. I got you. Oh, and dear, hold on. That was beautiful. I'm very handsome. You were amazing last night. Mm. 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 That little chick with your tongue. Huh? <laughs> Where you learn that from? I don't know. <laughs> How's your hand? Uh, it's a little sore. I think it's sprained. I've had worse hand injuries, though. I'll be all right. Yo, we got a couple of things to go over. Can you excuse us in there? Yeah, sure. Uh, don't go too far, OK? OK, I'll just be snapping pictures. OK. OK. Can I tell you something? Right about that girl. Yo, 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 yo. It's good, man. I heard y'all wanted to talk to me. What's up? It's good. Look, glad you came, cuz we just want to talk about the changes. That's it. That's the cut. I got it. You good? Yeah, let me do it. All right. Let me. <clears throat> yeah, y'all gonna fall back for it. Yeah. So, what's up, man? What, what changes you talking about? Uh, we're doing an album with Fee. You what? You think he's got something special, all right? <laughs> Jax. He don't got the skills. He's just a glorified street DJ. Look, do you realize how embarrassing this is for me? You actually heard his stuff, though? No, and I don't care about none of that. Now I'm about to look stupid in the streets because my own brother don't see the merit in my work. It has nothing to do with that. You're the only artist on my label. How do you look stupid? Man, we won record away, man. I'm telling you. You said that $100,000 ago. Man, we got to expand, baby. I cannot believe you're doing this to me, man. What am I doing? You know, if mom and dad were alive, they'd be real disappointed. Uh, you know that. Oh, uh, really? You know that, right? Wow. Really? Yeah. They'd be disappointed. Disappointed with me. Really? Or would they be disappointed with you? What you looking around for? They were disappointed with these fake ass chains? What about these glasses? No. Take these glasses off. Take this, take this off. This isn't who you are. This isn't this who whole you are. Time, you ain't never truly embraced the fact that I'm a street artist. Oh my right? God, shut up. Stop it. I watched you lose yourself lose when mommy and daddy died. Yes. What are you talking about? Maybe that's your way of dealing with the pain. All right, well, I have my own grief. All right, you understand? Up. Listen to me. Listen. Your name is Travis Carter Holly. You're going to stop putting yourself in this fake ass category. Fake, right? man. What the hell are you talking you about? You don't get it. Nah, you don't get it. Let me tell you something. You better watch your mouth, boy. I'll take this back to the living room real quick. Got me? Yeah, that's what I thought. You see? TC. TC. What? Man. Look, you know I love you, right? You know that, right? But you gotta stop having your brother waste money on you. Man, I'm telling you. Black and Sephora, the notice, that's the one, babe. Uh, no, it's not. Look, this is what you need to do, all right? You assume the baby slim, bro. Okay, you sign feet to our record label. Yes, yeah, sir. Just listen. If he blow up, guess what? You getting all that shot because it's your artist. Not mine, yours. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what you're gonna do. You sign him, you get all that credit, and then guess what? You get to work and fix on your album at the same time. Two artists, baby. Hey, feel real good. So think about it, all right? Just think about it. Hey, go for it. What's up? Play this gym for me. 
All right, everybody, gym is closed. Let's go. Everybody out. Let's go. And you're hold up. Ask you something. <laughs> no, I am not ready to get married. I thought you were different. What are you talking about? Look at yourself. What about me? Look at you holding Spencer's head. Look at the look on your face. Jackson, I don't know where you're going with this. Oh, I think you do. Know where I'm going with this. I was just helping a man. I swear, this is the story of my entire life. As soon as God gives me something that makes me happy and gives me hope, it isn't real. I liked you. I like you a lot, man. You got me. It's a natural human reaction to help another human in distress. I don't believe you. <laughs> Goodbye, Indira. Brother. What? Spencer Collier is my brother. The Vegas Boxing Commission, in an unprecedented move, demanded that the fighters submit to drug testing. According to the bylaws, both fighters would have to agree to be tested on such short notice. Both camps refuse to be tested. So one week from tonight, the most highly anticipated... Game time, boy. Game time. Vegas, Nevada. What the hell are you doing here? He knows. He knows what? That I'm your sister. How? Look, Steve is the only person that knows you, my sister. I told him. And why the hell would you do that? Because it was the right thing to do. I'm not a spy. This whole thing is wrong. He is a good man, Spencer. But I don't give a damn. So you gonna turn on your own family. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so you gonna sit here and forget everything that I've done for you, everything. I have never asked you to do a damn thing for me, Spencer. This is not right. You're a disgrace to this family. Find your way out. And that's 10K. Ten grand. Good luck, sir. Thanks. Mr. Collier, yeah, for the win. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right. You better against Jax? Man, how dare you, man? 
you doing here? Either you tell him or I will. What you talking about? Man, if I do this, I'll be able to pay everyone off. Yo, it's that dude Easy the Street, and you is, already know, man. This is for my city, I'm man. Hey, shout out to that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Right now. What up, man? Yeah. Yeah. His brand new joint. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you something, man. I'm proud of you, TC. It's Travis. Travis Carter Holly. Come here, man. <laughs> We're all so damn proud of you, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's go. We're gonna be late for the win. Let's go. Champ, say we out. We out. Let's go. Let's go. We get this late. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, look who we have here. It's fair to say the Holly Collier camps lack the verbal communication skills that prevent them from being on the same page, negating any type of civil discourse. With that being said, these two camps' issues will be resolved by just two men, Jackson Holly and Spencer Collier. Tomorrow night in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing 365. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our new weight champion of the world, Spencer Timber Collier. I want you to know I bet on the fight. Man, what do you mean you bet on the fight? You're not supposed to be doing any type of betting. You promised me. I trusted you, Peyton. I didn't use the TNK. I used some winnings. Some winnings. I'm gonna beat him. So you don't worry about getting paid, brother. You go and get paid. And then you're going into an intensive rehab program. Inpatient. You got me? Yeah, I got you. And is outside. Bring her in here. 
Can we get five minutes, man? Did. That isn't me. I need you to understand that. I didn't know you were who you are. But I wasn't supposed to like you. I wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. Mm. You weren't going to say anything. Are you really a photographer? Yes. I was on assignment for trueboxing.net, and I guess my brother thought I could kill two birds with one stone. Why didn't you just tell me he was your brother? Why couldn't you just talk to me? Why? I wanted to, but I, I knew I couldn't. I'm so sorry. I pray every day that you would find it in your heart to forgive me. I appreciate you coming down here to clear the air. Thanks. Look, I don't know what's real anymore, all right? I'm used to being a target for people with an agenda. Okay with that. They want money, they want tickets, you know? I just thought you were different. I know he didn't mean to do it. Who? What are you talking about? He didn't tell you? Tell me what? Peyton. Peyton, tell me what? He bet against you. <laughs> what are you talking about? The money you gave him? Yeah. He bet it on Spencer Collier. He bet it on Spencer <sighs> Bro, you gonna tell me that right now? Most anticipated match in boxing history, undefeated challenger Jackson Holly versus the champion Spencer Timber Collier. Listen to that crowd. That's right, JP. Let's look at the tell of the tape. Clearly, Jackson has the advantage with a greater reach and weight. With all the drama leading up to this fight, these two guys may find it more relaxing punching each other. <laughs> all right, you are, Mike. All right, gentlemen, as I said before in the locker rooms, no punches below the waist, no head buddy, no biting, no scratching. Let's have a clean fight. Let's get ready to go, all right? All right, gentlemen, let's get back to the corner. I can't believe this chick. Biggest fight of my Let's life. Do this! <sighs> Kiss your head right.
snake into my camp. I got something for that. Here he comes with the bull rush. He ain't got no footwork. Focus. Bite down. Here comes that right hand. Don't go down. That's his best shot. And I took it. Now pivot out and go to work. against you. Jackson, get up. Come on, everybody's watching. Get up. I gotta get up. I just can't. He's out! He's out! I told y'all! I told y'all what I was gonna do! Huh? I'm a bad guy! Ah! Get up, Jackson! Get up, man! Get up! Wake up, Jim. Wake up. Last weekend in the city that never sleeps, it took a total of 22 jabs, 11 body shots, and one deadly right cross to dispose of a seemingly distracted challenger. The champion, Spencer Collier, goes on to retain his belt after a first-round knockout. And now, the challenger, Jackson Holly, must figure out where he goes from here. This is Boxing 365.